I've been, uh, I've been thinking quite a lot about simple things that we can do that make us happy. And one of the things that, that sort of sprang to mind was the, the idea of, of Sunday driving. This year, many of us have enjoyed slowing down. I have enjoyed slowing down. If I'm gonna take the time to take myself to these extraordinary places, I want to spend the most amount of time enjoying them. We are surrounded by the story of the first industrial revolution. Lancashire grew up as a textile area because, because of the climate and because of the, the, the geography, and mostly because of rain. Um, spinning cotton needs humidity, the best cotton needs humidity, and there's plenty of humidity in this area. I do a lot of cycling around here. A number of years ago, myself and my friends were training for a 24-hour bike race, and we were bored stupid of each other's company, so we invented a series of games. I think my favourite game is quite simple. It's called Curious Horse. And if you pass a horse and it looks at you curiously, you shout Curious Horse and you get a point. It's a nice little game. I'm surrounded by incredibly beautiful countryside here and there is an opportunity to to cast, you know, to cast the eye a little bit further. So this idea of, of planning and kind of executing a drive for the simple pleasure of just going for a drive um, seems something that was worth exploring. Being connected to nature, seeing these big skies, enjoying this landscape, you know, after a difficult week, and we've all had difficult weeks, was something that was incredibly restorative. Ooh, she's got an anorak that matches my sweatshirt which means she's very cool. I like the names of the places around here. Um, Oakenclough. Uh, and just back there, there's a place called Gondor Lane. Well, actually, it's, it's Gondor Lane, but almost Gondor Lane. Um, it's almost like they've just copied the names from Tolkien and Lord of the Rings, who, of course, copied almost everything from J.K. Rowling. There's a nice old fella out for a walk with his poodle. The men of the north have no problem walking a poodle. Well, there's a grouse just went across. And another! What have we got there? Oh, a kestrel! It's an, it's an assault by the local bird population. There are so few occasions now where we are allowed to get dressed up. So, one day of the week, giving yourself a genuine, if slightly contrived, reason for getting dressed in a, in a particular way, I think is something really nice. And the outfits that I've chosen, actually I found it quite difficult to pick one. So what I've done is I've picked four. Hang on, which way am I going here? Uh, it's quite possible that this is my favorite stretch of road in the entire world. It's just fantastic. We're a little late, a month ago, this was in full autumn colour. I think this might be a perfect spot for an outfit change. The clothes that I'm wearing all have a connection to this region. I mean, either the textiles were from this region or they were made in this region. They're clothes that make me feel very proud. I'm proud to have designed them. I'm proud of the way they're made. I'm proud of the positive contribution that they are making to Yorkshire and Lancashire and the Scottish borders and the East Midlands, all of which are important to this country, particularly now. And so I think it's important that we celebrate these things and uh, we celebrate the positive contribution that the textile industry makes to this country uh, and the bigger contribution that it could make if we all decided to do things a little bit differently, you know, slowing down, taking more care choosing things with more care, being more considered consumers. So this journey is a celebration of all of that.